Alrighty, Gemini, welcome to your reading. Um, this one is sort of like, you know, we have those questions sometimes that kind of hang in the air, neither here nor there. Now what? what? What now? You know, so the focus is on love. We're going to see what we get. And I always like to explain, Gemini, when, I, when you sort of do like a general reading, um, think of it almost like standing on a balcony and being able to see a certain part of town. Um, you report to people back what's happening in this part of town. So if you say to somebody like, okay, so what's happening? It's like, no, so it's, it's really hot today. The sun is shining or it's the middle of the night and it's raining or the stars are shining. It's that overall sort of energy. All right. And so when I, when I say that I'm doing the reading for Gemini, it's sort of like that overall energy. It resonates because you're part of it and it's part of you. Um, but then obviously when you look at it more on a personal level, then it is about not just sort of focusing just on your kind of, you know, part of town anymore. Um, it gets a little bit closer. It's about your street. It's about your neighborhood. It's about your home. It's about your personal experience within that broader spectrum. So I encourage you to take from the reading what resonates with you and to leave the rest behind. Okay. Remember, life is all just probability. It's all sort of like invitations. You don't have to go for everything that life invites you to go for. It's your choice. It's your life. Okay. Now let's look at love. What is the energy that life would like to encourage you, Gemini, to focus on? You know, what is that energy that if you focus on that, that will really benefit you? What is it that is either withholding you or, you know, causing complications um, for you to experience the level of romantic commitment that you would like to experience not yet all right clarity gemini it's all about clarity and sometimes especially with you know with your mind gemini or anybody who's got strong gemini in the chart i know i get it a lot because i've got a lot of gemini in my chart even though i'm not a gemini i'm a cancer um this is that space where we sometimes say, I would like to have love, I would like to feel love, I would like to feel the joy of love, I would like to feel the closeness of love, um, you know, the companionship, the safety, all those things that, like the sense of just, you know, security and like cuddly vibes that we get that comes with love, whatever cuddly vibe means for you. And, you know, a lot of times what we would do, we would say that, I'm open to love to come to me in the best form it's going to fit me best. Which is all fine and well to say, but unless you're actually very clear about what that best form is for you, it's like taking this very huge ass sort of dice and just sort of like throwing it in there, you know, and hoping for the best sort of thing. It's almost like, a, um, think of life as having about 50 different possibilities available for you right now and that's every single moment so when it comes to love you know instead of being very specific in what you prefer because sometimes we think by becoming specific we actually limit ourselves which in actual fact we actually broaden the spectrum for ourselves because everything is just little possibilities and when you say you're open to whatever, whatever's closest to you is going to come to you, but that might not be what you want to have. And that is how we sometimes get ourselves and keep ourselves in a cycle where we get partners coming to us, which might be very good people, but they're not very good matches for us. And it's not really their fault or our fault, because what happens in a case like that is that person, because we're all soulmates, we're all together, we're all connected to the same matrix. Separation is a perception. It's not a reality. You know, it's all just one consciousness. And so those people that we are then attracting to our lives, those those partners and, and those friends and colleagues and whatever that we then attract to our life, um, we experience them as the wrong person for us, to this, to that, you know, not enough this and not enough this, too little this and too much, that type of thing. But it's, it's almost in a way us giving feedback to ourselves about what it is that we want to have in life. You know, I always say to all my private clients, like like private readings, for example, um, I say to them that I am just a conduit for the message. I am just a channel, you know, and it's my job to take responsibility of those channels. So it's my job to clear myself in a, keep myself in a space 
where my energy is balanced to the best you know of my ability and you know like anything else in life there are challenges with that but the message that I am giving you I'm still getting that message from your actual energy field interpreting it back to yourself in a way that you can understand it technically that is how tarot readings work you know and it doesn't you know there's different ways to do it whether you use tarot or a crystal ball or an oracle card I kind of use a combination of all of those things um, or you know runes or, or bones or coffee beer, whatever it is tea leaves the whole works it is all about tapping into that space. It's like scrying, for example. Um, you know, when you sort of look into the crystal ball or um, what some people call like a black mirror, which is just a reflective sort of surface, basically. Um, it, it changes your brain wave um, into a different state. It's almost like hypnosis, um, which in a way, it's... it's, it's how do I... Uh, let me give me just a second, Gemini. So, when you sleep... When you say, for example, we speak about lucid dreaming, when we sleep, you've got a lot more freedom because that lucid dreaming is from a very subconscious part of your mind and you can be aware of the fact that you are actually dreaming, you know, that you are experiencing this altered reality, but the, your conscious part is sleeping. Your consciousness is, isn't required here right now because the part of you, of your consciousness that is required to consciously experience human life on planet Earth doesn't need to be operational right now. So you're only in the pure subconscious and that is sort of like what hypnosis does for you as well. And when you kind of do scrying, so you look into a bowl of, of, of water or anything like that, you alter that mind frame. That is why people often like dimmed light. You often, you change that mind frame. And I think it takes a lot of practice for you to be able to just channel very clearly in the way that I'm doing, you know, with all sort of lights and everything like that. But I mean, I've been doing this for about 20 years now, but it takes a while to get there and you always learn as you go along and I encourage you to be patient with yourself. And Gemini, when I look at love, this is what's happening for you at the moment. You want to have a sense of clarity from all the possibilities. What do you actually want? Instead of just sort of like putting your hand down there and scooping and hoping for the best. You know what I'm saying? The universe is asking you to be clear because what, what your heart desires, the connection that your heart desires, is available. There's, and if you keep on changing your mind, then the availability alters along with that. But it's, you know, it's more difficult energetically for something to sort of like grow when, you know, um, you keep on shooting it down. It's almost like planting. So you plant maybe beans, like I'm from the country, so that's a good example for me. So you plant beans and, you know, every time they start to sprout and they start to like push through the earth, which is one of the things in the world that makes me the happiest. Um, because you can see that expression of life, but it's like pulling them out every single time. And then you plant new ones. And then you pull those out when they come out. Um, you're never really going to get to those beans that you're looking for. You know, you won't even get sugar snaps that way. Um, and so this is really a Gemini. When it comes to love, you are asked to give that clarity. Because for many of you, it's almost like, you know, it's planting and then pulling out and planting and pulling out. You know? But when we... When we um, when we're clear from the start about how we're going to do it and we follow a plan, then we might make improvements as we go along, but the plan itself is still wonderful. You know, it's like I, myself and my best friend, we're quite passionate about sort of like um, baking cakes, but like we like to challenge ourselves with how we're going to stack them and, you know, those type of things. But it's about sort of like visualizing in advance what are you going to do and how you're going to do it and what the balance is like. And that's how you kind of call it forth into existence. And once we've got that clarity, then we go, right, today we're baking. Because we already know what we're heading towards. How much time does this cake, you know, need to cool down to sort of like, you know, stiffen up and, you know, how long we're probably going to need to put sort of like the icing in the fridge and that sort of thing until you get the final result. And you are asked to follow that same steps with love, Gemini, because I feel that you've put in so much into the vortex, hoping to get that beauty of love that, you that you know, that we're all searching for. Um, but... You know, sometimes when you just kind of go in there and say, okay, let's see what I'm going to um, experience, you might not like everything. 
You know, it's like, um, for example, I love coffee. I really love coffee. Um, but I like a very simple cup of coffee. You know, I will take some milk in it if I have to, but then I don't take any sort of like um, sugar, which I'm not very crazy about. But I prefer a nice medium roasted blended coffee with just a teaspoon of sort of like wild country honey inside. That's what I like. So if anybody asks me, what do you really like in coffee, I will tell them that's what I like. So if you can get me that, that will be fantastic, you know. Um, but then again, I don't, you know, I'll take a little bit of froth because I like froth, but I don't like flavored coffees. I don't like it when my coffee tastes of vanilla bean or anything like that. And this is the same thing with love. We want to be specific because if you just tell somebody that you like coffee, they may go and get you that really, you know, gourmet sort of, um, you know, no fat almond milk, you know, whatever, fresh breath flavored coffee, and then that is not what you like, all right? So it's the same thing with life. Let's see what the energy of the moon would like to say to you, because the moon's our cosmic mother, it's about our emotions. It says new moon in Taurus, and new moons are about new beginnings. Prosperity lies ahead. You see, Gemini, you are getting better at the process of um, giving clarity about what it is that you want to have. And a lot of times, before we get to this particular point in time, we experience a lot of the sort of like life feelings of what we don't want to have. And sometimes when we experience so much of what we don't want to have, we kind of get to a space where we almost feel like we're going to give up. You know, it's not meant for me. It's maybe meant for others, you know, maybe it comes from my family, maybe it's the eternal curse, but you know, it's... It's not meant for me. But here's a confirmation for you. New moon in Taurus. This is a new beginning. And Taurus is earth energy. You know? You you almost don't get earth energy more, to, no sort of like earth than Taurus. Taurus is um, invested in what it's like to be human. They, they, they've got that life thing going on, that earth thing going on. And it's imperative for our success in life that we become very clear about what it is that we want in our human experience of life and your human experience of love. You know, you don't have to wait to see what bones are being thrown your way. You can be straight on the first person at the Calvary. You can be the person with the knife or you can have somebody cutting the Calvary for you. That's, that's life. That's love. You know, let's see what energy the universe would like to communicate to you at the moment, Gemini, for love. Let's see what the universe would like to communicate to Gemini, please. Spirit guides and guardian angels. What does Gemini need to know for their abundant experience of human life? Okay. Alrighty, so you've got the Hierophant. Aquarius also had the Hierophant quite, Hierophant quite prominently. You've got the Hierophant, the Ten of Swords, Gemini, and the Two of Cups. You know, and if you maybe are dealing with an Aquarius, you can always go and have a look at their reading or a reading of somebody else that you maybe may be dealing with. My only request is always when you look at an, a reading for another person or, you know, whoever it may be, even if you're just interested in what's happening with all the other signs at the moment, maybe not for love, maybe for your work colleague or your boss or something like that. First of all, remember that people are collective. Everybody's not the same. And also, I would say cross watch with the intention of how you can get to understand life better from that person's point of view. Because when we do, you know, we can love them better, we can respect them better, we can we can have a better sense of rapport with them, really. Okay. So, um, cross-watch with positive intentions. All right. So, this is a space of going forward. This is you climbing that ladder. Do you see that at the top there? It's a beautiful, almost like expansion of something new. And life is saying to you at the moment, um, Gemini, that as you move in through the space of love, there is so much that is possible for you right now. Now, I know that sometimes when we feel sort of like alone and things didn't work out and, you know, our hearts are hurting, we feel like, oh, nothing there, you know. But here's the simple thing about life and here's the simple truth is that life takes its cue from us. You know, and look at this. Just just, just think about this. So, <coughs> 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 
<coughs> sorry some of you might be able to relate to this or you might express it in different ways but <clears throat> for me now I am not very crazy about house cleaner it's not very high on my list but I also like a nice clean functional energy flowing feng shui balance space all right that's important to me because of the of the work that I do I mean I'm a practicing psychic um, but when I'm in that spaces where I feel stuck sometimes the way that I get myself out of that stuck space is that um, I stimulate my senses so for me that means eating yummy food not necessarily unhealthy food yummy food food that I know is good for me though you know getting really creative um, cleaning out those real deep corners at the back there that don't need to be cleaned up but cleaning it out and visualizing as I'm doing that what I'm releasing and what I'm welcoming into my life and in where you are at the moment Gemini you are being encouraged to open yourself to that inner cleaning you know those emotions that are um, so challenging sometimes and maybe make you feel almost like there's no point to to being around to even having hope for love as you having the willingness to um, to, to look at those emotions but with the goal of healing them to understand them better because the better you understand how you contribute to whatever it is that you're contributing to the better you can um, sort of like orchestrate life and love for yourself so by getting this clarity over here because the question is obviously with this prosperity laying around this is just a possibility life is letting you know that this is a possibility for you how do you get that possibility by being clear okay don't surrender your energy so much to the universe that you know that the fairies and the light beings and the angels and the guides and the, you know that that they have to decide almost for you because again that's like giving your power away but when you can say you know universal family of mine which includes that whole list that you just went through and maybe some more this is what I would really like to have this is what my heart truly desires and you want to be clear about what it is that you really want because when we approach things from this space you get what you're asking for and you can get it incredibly fast okay and as you get that clarity you may you may start to experience maybe that friendships disintegrate maybe your job is changing maybe you had a relationship with someone and I know that we don't always want to hear this but maybe you had a relationship with someone which you kind of both really knew wasn't going the way that you would like it to go it starts to resolve but it resolves peacefully because you are becoming clear with love you know you're not saying that you idiot pack your box and leave you know you're entering from that space of love <laughs> what does your heart desire and this is how you align with that energy okay let's see what are some of the challenges that might be holding you back from that what what is it that could make this, this whole process challenging for you okay what is it that can present itself as problems that you want to be aware of okay there's way too many cards that went flying over there I'm going to take the top one which is the tower followed by the knight of cups and the king of cups okay so yeah this is a lot of human energy at the moment you are only aware of the tower and this could be represented in many areas of your life it doesn't just have to be love because remember you are an energetic being that is constantly giving out the message to the universe um, and the reason why things like meditation and, and chakra balancing and cleansing your aura and grounding and all those type of things are so important is because they help you to be present in the energy that you are. I feel that many of you are being invited and opening to dragon energy at the moment, Gemini. And dragon energy is an earth energy. It's, it's a little bit more dense than sort of like angelic sort of energy, which is lighter, you know. Um, dragon energy, you sort of need to double up on your, um, on your grounding like if you feel that you're doing a sufficient amount of grounding and you love the way that you feel at the moment you want to double that up because there's a lot of sort of like illusions you've got a very visual mind sometimes Gemini and you're building all this you know maybe as you go through childhood you're building up all these um, sort of ideas about life and you play with them and you don't always think that much about it but the universe takes everything that we that we put out there very literally okay and so again with it getting clarity with the knight of cups 
universe is letting you know that the, that the cup of love is being offered to you. But how do you want to experience it? All right. What is going to mean um, that ultimate connection of love for you? What is that going to mean for you? All right. And obviously, when we take a, look, a bit more of a personal look at your energy, so when you do things like personal readings, we look at that. What is your energy? What is happening with you at the moment? Because sometimes we experience problems with love and even finances and jobs and friends and health and all those type of things. Um, because it's the same energy expressed in different ways. Okay? And if you are feeling lonely inside of, if you are feeling lonely because you don't have love, somebody else is not going to be able to give that to you. It is about what do you want? What do you need? What, do you, what life is asking you, what is it that you need? All right, and let's look at a crystal energy that can actually help you with that. So either if you have the crystal, you can work with the crystal, um, or you can maybe read up about it, open yourself to that energy because that energy potential is in all of us. All right, um, some of you may know that I've got a online tarot reading course with lifetime access, and there's a link down below in the description for that. But I'm also so excited because I'm in the process of creating a psychic development course which, which, which teaches you how to, first of all, discover that part inside of you that's magical. You know, how to, how to connect with it, how to maintain that. Because we're always connected in any case, in actual fact. But we've got all these barriers through life. And it's the same thing with love. We've got these barriers, these um, almost false ideas of what it is you know that we sometimes have and it's so important that after you know after a relationship comes to an end that after we within ourselves could find the peace within ourselves for it to to thank that relationship that connection and say i thank you but i also release you what is the lesson but it's about releasing it okay otherwise we keep that debris inside of our energy pattern and we ask why doesn't life work out for a crystal energy you've got calcite relaxation okay maybe some of you are very in your mind space um, you know maybe I feel that for some of you you're almost in that sort of coping mechanism space all right so when life is very overwhelming life is challenging on planet Earth at the moment it is really challenging you know and so some of us I mean I look at some of the the statuses, for example, that I see on social media as well, and I think to myself, if only you could have a different thought about that, your life could be so different, you know? Um, and whilst it's not really my place to kind of like just go and kind of like, you know, boom into people's lives, my heart's desire is that whoever is ready to hear that message, that this message will find you, that... Um, you know, we've got these things like, you know, I can't wait to go home to have a glass of wine, to have a slab of chocolate, to have some food, to have some, you know, intercourse, maybe with the wrong person, you know, to just smoke my blunt, to, you know, um, I don't know, just watch TV, just kind of um, shut out the world. And whilst, you know, it's a good thing for us to have ways to cope in life, the more spiritually aware we become and the more we sort of work with our own energy, it's not like we don't have problems anymore. We just find... Um, better coping mechanisms, you know, maybe like a relaxing bath, like a salt bath, maybe like a crystal bath. Just with crystal baths, be very careful to just put crystals in water because not all crystals are suited to that. Okay, let's look at a final message the universe has for you for love. Oh, this is beautiful, Gemini. This is beautiful. Oh, another card wants to come out. Four cards, which is so that's about stability. So you have got, first of all, the lovers card, which is your card. Your energy came into your reading. Love is possible over here. That full moon over there. This is no longer just this pie in the sky sort of dream for you, Gemini. It's very available. There you've got um, Ten of Swords. You've got Knight of Pentacles. And you also have Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um... There's a lot of the ideas that you had about love, Gemini, that weren't serving you in the best possible way. You are releasing those because they are hurting your heart. And I feel for some of you, it's almost like um, it's almost like you feel that maybe you need to leave love behind and just focus on money, just focus on you, you know. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. Some of you are heading that way, but it doesn't have to be that way. You know, as we just sort of take a breath and allow ourselves to relax, and give some clarity about what it is that we want to have. You know, so life, this is what I'd like to have with love. This is what I'd like to have in all other areas of my life that represents love to me. 
and that goes hand in hand with love for me. This is what I'd like in those areas. This is what I'd like to experience. And then, you know, understanding that it took some time for you to manifest yourself into the space where you are at the moment. But it, and it takes some time to manifest yourself out of that. But the good news is that it's usually faster to cre create a positive space than a, than a dark space because in essence we are light, we are love. So when we open ourselves to it, it's like whoop, we get pulled right back into the beautiful space of the truth and intensity of who we are. Okay. So I hope that helps you, Gemini. Um, I hope that going forward there is something that can really help you positively in your life. If that resonates with you, I'd really appreciate you liking the video. Um, you know, share it maybe with a friend of yours or a loved one that you think will benefit from it, either on your, you know, your social media wall or maybe inbox them. Um, I always appreciate comments to, you know, I, I love comments, I love people, I love connecting with people. Um, I'd like to thank you for all the beautiful donations that all of you are making to my channel. That is what helps me to be able to do everything that I do. I hope all of you had a wonderful birthday with the past Gemini season. And, you know, if it resonates with you, I'd really like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, remember to hit that notification bell if you do subscribe, um, so you can know when your readings are coming out. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, um, I actually, I'm running a special at the moment with a, with a personal reading as well as a regression hypnosis session, which we can do all online. If you're interested in knowing more about that, then you're more than welcome to send me an email. My email address is down below in the description. From my heart to yours, namaste, love and light.